The other thing that's interesting we like to show with personal income, there's only about um, three point, it's like three and a half percent of the counties in the country account for half of the income in the county, in the country. And you can kind of figure out where these places, you know, obviously the East Coast, where we are, we're kind of at the end of that. Florida, California, Chicago, you can just, you can pick all the big cities out, Atlanta. Um, so it show, what that shows is a couple things, you know, the challenge for us in doing these statistics, you know, we have to account for these real large areas, but then we have all these farm counties in the middle of the country. The, it, so that's where we get, that's where we earn our paychecks, you know, what's the best way to do the statistics and how to gather the data. But uh, it's very unique. Yes? Uh, do you have models for each country's, uh, each counties in the country? No, I mean, we, we're we pretty good at getting um, the data, the, some of the source data is standardized. Like the BLS where we get our wage and salary data. You know, that roughly is 60 to 65 percent of personal income. And so that's a big help. It It gets a little volatile especially in the center of the country where you have so many farm counties. Farm data is one of the most volatile pieces of statistics we get because it's, there's so much stuff going in there. There, there are subsidies, there's, uh, you might think you're having a bad year, but it actually, if something happens, commodity prices go up, you know, due to an impact somewhere else, it can raise your price higher. So there's a lot of different things that go into play. and. Uh, so you'll see usually the biggest swings in year-to-year -year growth will be more out in the Midwest or some places that, like Yuma, Arizona, I used to do advanced metro statistics. And they, they would usually go from fastest growing to slowest growing to fastest growing to slowest growing. And it's all because they, they produce lettuce and all these labor-intensive crops. And the vo it's just the volatility from one year to the next. You know, and you almost, you can't really look at one year growth. You almost have to look at over time to see what's going on there. But that's just pretty interesting, I think.